right? I felt like she was trying to do that to me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. I wasn't going for it. You know, they used to offend her. Like, man, I'm good. My ride is good. I got a clean, nice ride. It ain't on your level. On, on, on you know, what you got. But I'm good. And uh, that, that rubbed me the wrong way. You know, uh, she's very aggressive, man. She was very aggressive. So that rubbed me the wrong way. And that, you know, that opened my eyes to some stuff, right? But what she didn't realize, and this is why I say she was delusional. Listen, anything I acquired uh, or I stayed, the roof over my head, the food goes into my mouth, the clothes on my back, the car I was driving, the money in my pocket, uh, my way into the restaurant that she met me at, all that came from my work, all that came from my blood, sweat, and tears. Everything she has came from her husband. And so she was trying to throw certain things in my face, I, I guess, or be boastful. But I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't stay in the type of home, you know, you stay in. Um, I can't even eat at the restaurant we, we, we met at consistently. At the time, like at the time, I could probably only do that once a month. Uh, my ride is clean, it's good, you know, mint condition. Uh, it's not on, you know, it's not on the level of your, your vehicles. But that stuff came from your husband. Mine came from me. So I'm still winning. And I'm actually winning more. I'm in the lead if you want to compare me to you. Now, if you want to compare me to your husband, like financially uh, and I guess uh, success-wise, he's in the lead. I, I give him that. He's in the lead. Now, the flip side is that um, I have some things he, don't, he doesn't have, obviously, uh, my confidence, because the way she's acting with me, but I, I'm not tolerating it. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving pushback. I'm actually checking her on it. He's been dealing with that for over 20 plus years, right? Um, even though, you know, and, and she's telling me I can take your skincare line to the next level. She's telling me all these connections she has, her friends. But, man, she's like, she wants to own 50% of it. She's even She was even purchasing my product and using it. She loved it, but she wants to own 50%. And, you know, she'll push it. She was like, I can get this around the world. And I don't doubt that she could have. She was connected like that. They were connected. Uh, you know, she was connected. She was in that, that society. She hadn't worked ever. She had, I think, a nonprofit, but she hadn't worked. Her thing was to look good on his arm and, and raise the twins. And beautiful, sexy woman, in shape. I'm talking about in shape. Uh, she jogged maybe three miles every morning. I was in decent shape, but I wasn't doing that. I mean, I hadn't, I hadn't really done that at that time since I was in the military. But she was dedicated. So... Um, there was a sacrifice on her part too, you know. Uh, that takes discipline to get up, uh, the job three miles every day, to to stay in shape, to look good, uh, to keep a good home, take care of your boys. That's a that's a that's a sacrifice too, you know. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to minimize her. Uh, her value or what she added to that relationship. But she was trying to act like she had acquired, she had acquired more than me and that just wasn't the case. Now, it got so out of control, brothers, 
the brother hadn't even been in this accident a good a good uh 18 months man and i'm in his home they've been married 20 plus years so i'm thinking there had to be a disconnect before then there had to be a disconnect man like that's moving on pretty soon. Now, even if, because she's in her prime, hey, I get it. Now, even if you want to have a, a sexual relationship, I, I get it, all right? But to try to bond with another man and bring him into this man's home so soon, to me, that was soon. Uh, and, and you guys have been married over 20 years. That was soon. It just made me think. Like, what was she suppressing? I know he came out what he was suppressing. But this accident revealed a lot. It not only revealed what he was suppressing, it revealed what she was suppressing. And uh, she was dissatisfied in the relationship for years. So brothers, sisters, <clears throat> what are you hiding? What are you suppressing? What are you not talking about in your relationship or dealing with? What, what conversations are you avoiding? They will come out eventually. Uh, this is why brothers are so important to uh, be friends with your woman and have that open line of communication. You gotta be able to have those tough discussions and be able to talk about anything. One thing, you know, Yaya and myself learned in pre-marital counseling is a tool that the couple gave us and Man, we use it today. You probably heard us heard us use it on a video we've done together. And what it is, when we wanna talk about something that can be taboo or controversial or ruffle some feathers or get each other in our emotions, we'll preface our statement with friend mode. This is friend mode. And we wait on a response from the other party to see if it's okay to proceed with what I'm about to talk about. But I'm letting you know, this is friend mode. You ain't my spouse right now, take off that hat. I just wanna talk as a friend. Uh, so the emotional that's attached to being a spouse or the mindset, can you pause that for a minute and just talk to me as a friend? And the person may be, and we may be like, not right now. Or you get the nod, okay. And so it puts you in a mindset like, hey, she can say anything. I'm, I'm prepared. I'm in friend mode. And so uh, we talked about a lot using that tool, man. And that's a powerful tool. It may sound simple, but it's very powerful. So you got to keep those lines of communication open. Create a foundation, a platform for people or your spouse to be open and talk about some things, man. Um, case in point, piggybacking or expounding on that. She she shared a story with me where on their anniversary, on their anniversary one year, they had had some liquor and uh, he had a drink, a drink, a, a glass of wine. He normally doesn't drink. She had a few glasses and uh, she got tipsy. Probably you could, you could even say drunk. But hey, man, she's with her guy. She's with her husband. It's their anniversary. They had made it back to the, to the house by then and she was loose. And um, she starts dancing for him, a seductive dance. And then she starts stripping. For him, he stops her, starts yelling at her and calling her out her name. 
calling her the garden tool. You know what that is. And uh, it just, it just, it just, uh, <clears throat> he shamed her. He shamed her. And whatever wall she had up, it extended. It became higher. And it blocked her from ever revealing her true, her truest thoughts, her deepest thoughts to him. Um, I personally see nothing wrong with it, but you know I'm not him. But this, this is the problem, fellas. Church going man. No one has a bad word to say about them. Uh, does everything perfectly seemingly. He has done well in his profession. Uh, he's made millions. Twin boys, beautiful wife, huge, huge estate. 